And hello everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy XII with the Zodiac Age on the PlayStation 4. I am Negadimus Kane, and we are back once again in Rabinaster in the weapon shop. We just got done killing this guy's hunt. So now he's going to talk to us. Slain the Wyvern Lord, have you? You've done Rabinaster a great service, boy. After you'd set out, I thought I might have been overreacting just a touch after all. But there's naught to be gained from doubting now, is there? Guess not. You've done a man's job. Here's your bounty. Take it with my thanks. A thousand gill, an elfin bow, and a shell shield. Okay. Well, here we go. So now we have to go back and see what other hunts we can do. And again, we're doing this because we have to get 14 hunts in order to get this, uh, what was it? Cat's Ear Hood, I think it is which lets you turn license points into gill. Because we've been doing the Henny Mines uh, leveling gimmick for the past... Man, I've been doing it for the past week now. <laughs> I think it's it's definitely been a while, and uh, I've been leaving a lot of license, pl license points on the floor, and I could really, really use the cash at this point. So, next bill... Uh, is the Encalados uh, Slaven. Okay. Rank 2 available petitioner is Sugumu in Jahara, Land of the Garif. So we have to go all the way out to Jahara. Uh, there is a creature on, on Osmond Plain. Kill it. This is how one summons a hunter, is it not? Good. I will be waiting. Yes, I will go speak to the petitioner. And Bill's petitioner can be found at the long, following location. You can speak to the petitioner to formalize the contract. And he is all the way out there. Okay. So, of course, we're not going to run out there. We're going to uh, take the teleport stone out. Because, why not? <laughs> because cause even though I said that we were not going to do any uh, any teleporting and we're not going to turn on the, uh, the four times speed for this playthrough, <laughs> this warrants <laughs> us having to do it because I cannot... Man, just just running out there is going to be the entire episode, and I, I can't do that. That's something that I would do, like, on my own, maybe, you know? Um, just for the just for shits and giggles. Because whenever I'm not recording, you know, I play. You know, I will run around, I will I will play, I will look at stuff, I will kill enemies on the way, you know, I will take my time having fun doing it, but for the sake of just saving time, man, we have got to, <laughs> we have got to go use the teleport stones. And so we're going to warp our happy little asses out there, talk to this guy. And honestly, I haven't even been in most of this city yet. As you can see, the the map over there on the edge, I haven't even filled all that in. So probably there's people I still haven't even talked to yet. But it did, I mean, it, we, we were kind of rushing through this, uh, and I will admit that we were, we were rushing through some of this. And just to be able to get to the next, uh, next part of the story. Now, who am I supposed to talk to? I think it was one of those guys up there. Was it you? Gareth Elder? No. There's a treasure back here. Pheasant Nitsuke. Okay, that's probably something that I could totally use. I don't think it was down... It was not down here. I know that much. It's a Gareth youth. So it must have been one of those guys standing in front of this thing. And I could swear that inside of this, inside of that, there's somebody you go up in there and you talk to them. And it's, it's like a, it's, I thought it was a woman. Hi, Chief. Is it you? You got him out, Burma says, yes. There's one in the village seeking, selling provisions. You might speak with him. 
sorry we get to this site still in our village considerably no where's this asshole at none of these guys have oh my gear Sagumu, I think it's you you have seen the bill posted for the Encalados? Yes, I have. Hmm, I had wondered what sort of person would come, but never did I expect. No, no matter, it is nothing. You are truly here to hunt my mark. Yes, I am. Truly? Truly, 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 truly outrageous? Good, good, even if you are a child. <laughs> Pay me no mind. All elderly are as I am, slow to trust. Let me explain the situation. You know the Osmond plain... You must have passed through there at least once. A very valuable herb grows there. Yes, it is very valuable. Yet the Enchilados, it tramples my precious herbs to dust. Oh, as you can see, I'm quite agitated because I haven't smoked any of my herb. Normally, the warriors of this village would vanquish it for me, but this time, well, suffice it to say, I need you to do this. The Enchilados can be found on the eastern edge of the Osmond Plain, it is often seen in the shred, I am told. The shred. Warrior Simu knows much of this creature. When you leave us, Noel, you will find him standing guard at the bridge. Take, Talk to him there. Now, go. I trust you will do this for me and return safely. In Kalados, the hunt begins. Alright, so am I really supposed to talk to somebody else? Seriously? Um... Let's look at this thing. Kalados. Defensive Osmo Plain. Low Chief Sugumu explains that Kalados trampling precious medicinal herbs on the plains. It must be stopped. Kalados is to be found in the shred on Osmo Plain, or it would be found if certain monster hadn't scared it in hiding. Warrior Simu has, is said to know more. Aha, so I have to talk to this guy to find out how to do it. So, we're there, we're there, and it's over here, and we need a chocobo to get to it. No, no, we don't need a chocobo to get to it. No. But we might take a chocobo anyway. So this Simu, Hesimu, H-H-S-E-M-U, Simu, said he was on a bridge. On a bridge out or on the bridge in? Oh, right there. You ask of the Enchilados. Ah, yes, this is the mark. Now I recall. It can be found in the east of Osmo Plain in a place called the Shred. But going and finding are two different things. First, you must know that the Enchilados detest the creatures known as the Wu. To lure it out, you must first rid the area of these Wu. Once all the Wu are slain, depart a while, and in a short time, the Enchilados shall appear. Okay, so we're killing the Wu... The Wu Tang, and we are. <laughs> we're not really killing the Wu Tang, because let's be honest, Wu Tang ain't nothing to fuck with. But uh, then we have to <laughs> kill this in Colados. Nice. Now, should we take a Chocobo? Fuck it, let's take a Chocobo. Why not? Splendid! Safe travels, Koopo. Alright. Now, I know I've got the map up, and I know it just blocks out, like, everything in the world, but it helps. In order for me to be able to know where the hell I'm going, it definitely helps. So you just kind of have to put up with it for a second, you know? Oh, the Chocobo music. Okay, so I know I've said in several other episodes and several other playthroughs that... I listen to Final Fantasy music while I'm at work. I mean, that's just the way it is. Uh, it's it's actually getting to the point now where I'm starting to filter in other music because I've it's been a full year. Actually, it's been a full year and no, well, it's it's been a full year. It's been a full year of li listening to nothing but Final Fantasy music, and it's it's getting a little eh, you know. And my my tastes are kind of changing, so I'm starting to filter other music in, but um. It, every time I hear the Chocobo music, uh, that's the, the one thing that uh, I really enjoy is, is all the different Chocobo music. The Chocobo music in this, it's it's laid back. You know, it's laid back enough. Let's put it that way. It's not like... I mean, there's there's so many different kinds of Chocobo music that 
is just silly and you know crazy. There's the there's like this weird like I don't even know how to describe it. Bossa Nova <laughs> kind of chocobo music. It's nuts. Some of it's nuts. But yeah, the chocobo music in this, I haven't really listened to too much of it in this, in the game. Because I don't really use chocobos that much. But, um... It's still really fun to hear. So, do we have to leave? Leave? Or what? Because we've killed all the woos. Do we actually have to exit the area itself? I think we do. But it said to leave and then to come back. Yeah, and all the woos are gone. Okay, so we'll leave and come back and, and hopefully this thing will pop up. God, there's a lot of enemies in there. So there's... Oh! Is that it? The bullcroc. Oh, there it is! Holy shit! Okay. Well, that's... I, I don't know where the bullcroc came from, but alright. Yeah, look at the size of this monster. Holy crap! It's one thing I don't like about this game is that you can't you can't pull the camera out. If there is a way to pull the camera out, I don't know what it is. Who's this guy? Eros. This guy came out of nowhere. Not trying to fight you. Ah, Jesus. No. Here, attack him. Don't worry about the other. Bye. Everybody else is worried about this one. Worry about this one. This is where I need to have, uh... This is where I need to have Fran out, because she... She does the whole... She does the whole, uh... Um, you know, flying monsters. If they if it's a flying monster, she'll use arrow on them. Of course I could. What, what am I thinking? I should, is what I should do, because they're higher levels. We'll be killing these things a lot faster. <laughs> I'm a moron. I should be able to, yeah, substitute Vaughn in, and Pinello is still doing a thing, so she's not going to be able to. Yeah, I'm a moron. I wasn't thinking. I should have been, uh, I should have been doing that this whole time. Uh, obtain an Ermonea er leaf? Ermonea leaf. Uh-huh. Marijuana leaf. Galados. Vanquished. Vanquished. Well, there we go. Can Pinello... Not yet. Damn it. There we go. And I will pull Ash out. Like I said, my... Man, my levels are going crazy. And, you know, the license point boards, they're already filled up. So I'm good on those. But right now, I just need to get this, uh... This cat's ear hood, whatever the hell it is, you know, just to be able to, just to be able to have something that'll turn all these LP points into, into gill, because I'm kind of hurting on gill, I mean, I'm not like super hurting on gill, but it's enough that I really wish that I would have, you know, had this before, I mean, you know, I've got five gill per... Five gil per uh, per license point, you know, and I, I've got like twenty thousand license points per character right now. Shit, that's a lot. You can do the math. That's a lot. God, this run is ridiculous. And yeah, I'm not worried about killing these assholes. This this does not affect me in any way at all. I'm just trying to... There's, there's only, like, so many enemies right now I'm worried about killing. I almost think I should turn that steel off, because that steel is just killing me. Here, let me turn that steel off. 
There we go. That way, I won't, like, constantly be turning around trying to attack or trying to steal from whatever the hell I'm running past. Well, let's get in here. Let's turn this in. I know, man, the episode's already halfway done. This, oh, this sucks. This is horrible. But I'm not using my four times speed. I already said that. We're, we're not going to do that. We're going to have to put up with it and just run it the way that we run it. I was hoping to be able to get three hunts in like we did with the last episode, but I got a feeling that the hunts were just going to get longer and longer and longer. And if that's the case, then we'll just uh, we'll just keep doing it the way we've been doing it. Um, he's over here. And he's the one standing up, if I remember right. Oh, you have defeated the Encalados. These are good tidings indeed. I learn again that it is wrong to judge by appearances. Now, I shall reveal the truth to you. In fact, the warriors offered to hunt my mark, yet none of us had ever seen a true mark hunter. So curious I was to see what such a man might look like, or might be like, I asked permission of the elders and posted a bill. Little did I expect a human child. To tell the truth, I was a little disappointed. But this is past, and now is now. My eyes have been opened. I see you are truly a great warrior. Another surprise for me. Here, please take this as thanks. You have done well, friend. 1100 gil, an ether, and a golden amulet. Actually, the golden amulet is a thing. Hold on, let me look at it. I want to see what the golden amulet is. Um, where's it at? Doubles license points earned. Think about that for a second. And I have two of them. So, if I'm doing this, doubling the license points earned, then I'm doubling the gill that I get. So, if I would have had all this going whenever I started leveling, 600,000 easily turns into 1.2 million. I'm uh, just saying, man. I, I wish we would have done this sooner. I really do. And I think from this point on, um, every time we get to a new uh, hunting board, we might do hunts uh, just to be able to get them out of the way. And I know that they're all over the place in this game. I just I wish we would have, would have done this sooner. I really do. So we're going to go back to Raven Aster. And open this bad boy, or go back to the hunts, and see if uh, see if we got anything else going on. Now, does does he teleport to this little guy Horn? Welcome to the Moogling Sand Sea. The Sand Sea. Yes, which is which is where the hunt board is, because that's the that's the bar, right? The Sand Sea is the bar. So where are we? Oh god, we're right beside it. Okay. Oh good. Alright. And yeah, I'm going through these teleport stones like crazy too. I know I am. Holy crap. Alright. So notice board. Crocodile. Not a crocodile. Crocodile. Crocodile is a mutant lizard. Rank two. Available. Petitioner Sadine and Giza the Rains. Oh god, I lost a ring and I must have it back. I wait on Giza Plains. Come during the rains. You go speak to Petitioner, yes I will. This Petitioner can be found at the following location. She's dead smack in the middle. And I think it is during the rains, so I think we should be good. Um, I think we should be good. Actually, I should just go back over here and talk to her, or talk to him, shouldn't I? To Moogling, Muthru Bazaar, East Gates, South Gate is where we are. But yes, it is during the rains. It should be during the rains. I hope it's during the rains. Um, can we travel down there? Or do we have to actually run down there? No, we have to actually run down there. Alright, cancel. It does not look like it's the rains. It just, it looks normal. I don't know, we'll have to see. And if it's normal, well, that's normal. We should be able just to pop out and then pop back in. Make a change. It should, that should work. No?
Well, damn it, how do I get the reins to pop? I know there was one way that I did it where I just simply zoned in and then zoned back out, but I don't remember. Do we have to... Oh, shit. I wonder if it's like so many zones that you have to go through. This should work. If this doesn't work, I might have to look this up. Damn it. Alright. So, while I'm looking this up, I'm going to keep zoning in and out of here. I know this is horrible. Um, okay, so FF12... Giza Reigns. How's that sound? How can I change the weather in Giza Plain? There we go. Once you get the cycle started, visit. Hey, mine's this. Weather pattern will change automatically as clock ticks on over Giza Plain. Depend on game clock. And uh, For example, if you put your game... Oh, did I hit the button? What the fuck happened there? No, I didn't hit the button. The game clock will cy cycles every two hours and thirty-seven minutes. Two hours, two game clock hours, followed by one game clock hour of rain, followed by two of dry and one rain. Well, son of a bitch. Well, guys, we're kind of screwed. <laughs> Damn it. We're kind of screwed here. Um, because I have to advance the game clock. So what's the... See, I've been playing a game for 65 hours. That's That's my time. That's real time. Game time, however, that's something completely different. That's not a uh, that's not a thing that you can just take off and look at. That sucks. So maybe that's one we got to come back to. Maybe we got to dump this one and then pull the other one up. And I know that we're we're running short on time here, so I'm going to go ahead and go back in here and see if we can choose the other one. Because if I'm going to keep playing this, then I should be able to. Uh, I should be able for it just pop up. I don't know. Uh, X tab. He is undead. Status is available. Z Z Z Zalu Zayalu in Jahara, land of the Gareth. To bear to bear arms against this creature is to bear arms against our very ancestors. Yet if we do not, much harm will it bring. I await your coming. Will you go and speak to the petitioner? Yes. Petitioner can be found in the following locations, and he is in there as well. All right. So. Is that it? Is that... I, I guess I can accept two at once. I, I am a moron. I am sorry. Yet again, I say that I, I just... I don't know. I don't know anything about this game. I just kind of go along with it. And I used to know this stuff. Um, no, I didn't want to go... Well, no, I did want to go there. Because we got to go to Southgate to get to the crystal. Anyways. But, uh... Nope, still dry. But I used to know this stuff about the game. I used to know everything I could about the game possible. And, you know, it's been... Uh, what has it been? 12, 13, 14 years? I don't know how long it's been. It's been a long-ass time since I played this on the PS2. So let's go talk to this guy. And that will be the end of this episode. I know we didn't get much done at all. That kind of sucked. But it is what it is. So we're going to go up here and do this. And yes, I do understand that not using the four times speed, I'm burning as much time as humanly possible and probably making these videos completely and totally unwatchable. Well, you know what? It is what it is. You don't like it tough. So I got to... Who are we talking to? Zayalu. This guy. 
You have come to slay Ixtab. Oh, I have lived many years, yet fate never fails to surprise me. Ixtab is an evil spirit as frightful as fear itself. It smells the warm blood of man and attacks without warning or hesitation. Many who I have, who I know have already fallen to this fiend. Great warriors all. I will not lie, this is a most dangerous foe. Yes, except... Then I am in your debt, yet you must not fight that which you are unable to defeat. Should you sense that your life is in peril, flee. Flee at once. Ixtab can be found in the Henny Mines. Enter from Osmond Plain and beyond a junction near the Phase 1 shaft. You shall find it. May the spirits of the land protect you. Do this and return safely to us. Alright. So that's what we're going to do in the next episode. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to save... And then I'm going to get a chocobo and I'm going to go ahead and run out there. That way we can just start it from where the Henny Mines are. Save some time, hopefully. So anyways, thank you guys very much for watching this. This has been Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age on the PlayStation 4. I've been Nicodemus Kane. Um, like, comment, subscribe, or don't. It doesn't really matter at this point. And honestly, I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. But, uh... No, like I said, we're going to uh, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna get a chocobo. We're gonna go out there. We're gonna fight this X tab thing. Actually, let's go ahead and look at it while we're here, just to see what it is. The dread ought the dead ought sleep forever. Um, what is that? X tab is a spirit of great malevolence, prone to attack whenever it senses the living. It's to be found in the phase one shaft of the Henny Mines. And it is right there, which means that we have to do that weird... Yeah, doing those, uh... <clears throat> doing those weird switches, because we got to open up that, that tiny little spot. So, okay, we'll do that next episode. So, until then, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I already said all my good stuff. Until next episode, I wish you all well in all your future endeavors, and I hope that the well lasts for you. God bless, take care, save often. And I shall see you next time. Later.